Welcome to the November 14, 2018 Board of Trustee meeting. We will begin our meeting as we normally do with the Pledge of Allegiance and also a moment of silence. Tonight's moment of silence, we have two of them. Anthony Helms, Jr., who is the father of Sharon Gundrum, who works in the police department, and grandfather of Christopher Gundrum. Um, he leaves behind um, a daughter, Sharon, daughter, Tina, son, Mark, and Christopher, Amber, Ruthie, Morgan, and Braden, grandchildren. Our second mem um, silence is for Jerry Gillespie, husband of Joan Gillespie, who works in our parks department. Jerry leaves behind Joan, Sarah, Jessica, and Patrick are his children and four grandchildren. So keep them in their prayers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you very much. <clears throat> we have a full house tonight. Great to see all of our men and ladies <clears throat> from the fire department here tonight and their families. So approval of minutes, please, Mr. Luby. Motion 2018-209, approve the minutes from the Board of Trustees meeting held on October 30th, 2018, and dispense with the reading. I have a motion 2018-209. I second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. Yes, yes. motion passes. Motion 2018-210, approve bills for payment. I have a motion 2018-210. I second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. Motion 2018-11, to approve the payment of overtime for pay period ending November 6, 2018. I move motion 2018-11. I second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. Report from the fiscal officer, please, Mr. Luby. Resolution 2018-218, resolution approving purchase order obligations incurred on behalf of the township by the township administrator authorizing payment of certain purchase order obligations and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. As far as significant transactions since last meeting, on 1031, we had a deposit for $26,000 for an EMS reimbursement. And on 1031, our payroll was $265,000. That's all I have. Thank you. Trustee Correspondence, Trustee Seavey. Uh, yes, recently I've been asked to give a, an update about the uh, water bills and what we can anticipate for our increase, particularly with a lot of organizations and condominium associations um, preparing their budget. I don't have the best of news, but I also don't have the worst. On t December the 12th, we will be back in court with Judge Ruhlman, and I don't expect really to have a ruling at that point. I don't think, Mr. Cameron, do you either? No. No. I, I don't, it will probably go to the Court of Appeals after, after the ruling. So we do not have a final answer on our water, water bill increase. So just keep you up to date. Trustee Davis? Uh, not at this time. Okay, and uh, I'm going to defer to uh, Assistant Chief Braun later to talk about what I was going to talk about. All right, uh, we have a special special presentations tonight, Chief Campbell. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Board. Um, this is a special night for us. It's uh, kind of a celebration in twofold, but. Uh, First, we'd like to start out with the swearing in of our new firefighters. Um, these have all been hired, all five of them, this year. And as as it usually goes, we've had some change in faces and things. And as we hired throughout the year to re for some replacements, we just held off as long as we could <laughs> to actually <laughs> swear them all in. However, they've all been on the force and working this entire time. So tonight's ceremony, we'll start with Chris Gundrum. Chris was hired in September of 2011. He also served as a fire explorer with our organization. He um, 
He has since been hired as a paramedic uh, beginning of this year. Here tonight to pin him will be his father, Daryl. But I have to swear him in first, right? No? Okay. <clears throat> Good job. <clears throat> Next, we'll have Austin Eckler. We hired Austin in March of 2016, and uh, just recently in this past process. He's a third generation firefighter, correct? Second? Fourth? Third or fourth? So there you go. It's in his genes. So here tonight to uh, pin Austin is his fiance, Emily. Next tonight we have Mark Giffen. I'll talk a little bit about Mark later. However, we did hire him back in January of 1988. So. <laughs> He's got a 30. Yeah, yeah, he definitely is. Here tonight to pin him is his wife, Debbie. Mark. <laughs> Glad I caught that. Next this evening is Sean Robinson. Sean was hired with us part-time in July of 2016. He did previously serve as a lieutenant in Warren County with the Salem Morrow Fire Department, correct? His wife here is here tonight Kristen Christine Kristen is here tonight to pin him last but not least Nick Morrow Nick was hired in May of 2017, so he's still a little wet behind the ears, but we're happy to have him here as well. And he's joined tonight with his mother, Lana, who will be doing his penny. All five of you can come on up here. Jack, they've indicated to me that they've memorized the oath, so there's probably not a need to put it up on the board. But Rose has Correct. it. Correct. But Rose know. needs it. Rose needs it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So face that way. No, no, no. Everybody over here. Do you have the printer now? I do not. Okay. <coughs> I state your name. I do solemnly swear that I will support. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties. And I will faithfully discharge the duties required as a firefighter paramedic. Required as a firefighter paramedic of the Delhi Township Fire Department. Of the Delhi Township Fire Department. I recognize the badge of my office. I recognize the badge of my office as a symbol of public faith and trust. As a symbol of public 
faith and trust. And I accept so long as I am true to the ethics of the fire service. And I accept so long as I am true to the ethics of the fire service. Congratulations. Okay, now now the fun begins. So, let's enter our time machine, roll up our members' jackets, and head back to January of 1988. Captain Helms was jamming to his Sony Walkman. It was probably Walk Like an Egyptian by the Bengals. Uh, Scott Summers was probably cuddling his pound puppies or playing with G.I. Joes. I was rocking a pretty, pretty good mullet. <laughs> um, it was the first year Pete Rose was managing the Reds. Uh, it was about a you know 50% season. Um, Elder finished third in the GCL, so not a lot going on in Cincinnati. <laughs> the most exciting event that year were the three people in this room who are going to who were going to join the Delhi Township Fire Department and end up dedicating over 30 years of continuous service to our community. I'd like to have Andy Ely, Lieutenant Andy Ely, Firefighter Mark Giffen, and Assistant Chief Moore, please come up to the podium. <clears throat> so, Lieutenant Ely, um, was hired in January of 1988 with Mark Giffen. Um, Andy is now a lieutenant with our organization. He served alongside his mother, Mary Ellen, on the fire department as well. He's gone on to serve our, as our EMS coordinator and manages pretty much everything that's related to the paramedic service we provide here in Delhi. So hats off to Andy for that. Mark Giffen, he served part-time as a firefighter and also as a part-time lieutenant. We had those back then in the late 90s and um, completed his paramedic training rather late in his career, but it served him well because he's here today because of it. Um, he's done remarkable work over the last 30 years, and we look forward to getting another 30 out. No? Mark has a... He also has has the one distinguishment. He's the only third year employee here under probation, so it's <laughs> in, ironic. But Jesse was hired later in 1988, and he served as the fire safety inspector, uh, also as a lieutenant. He is promoted through the ranks, ranks, and today he serves, of course, as our assistant fire chief. He oversees the fire prevention bureau. Each of these men has served professionally and witnessed the progression of our department over the last three de decades tonight. I'd like to recognize them for their years of service and a token of our appreciation. So the first thing I have for them, we have a tradition on our uniforms that we have a Maltese cross for every five years of service. Mm. Lovely. And then each of them will be getting a plaque. It has our, our uh, patch on the top, and it says, With our deepest appreciation, we hereby honor the recipient with, the gift in rec with this gift in recognition for 30 years of service of unconditional commitment and enduring dedicated service. 2019. Let's go ahead and give them all a round of applause. All righty. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate everybody's time and uh, 
Okay. Trustee Seaver, do you have anything to say? Thank I would you. like to say, first off, congratulations to those of you who were sworn in this evening. I think that the, those that go before you with 30 years of service certainly set the standard high for all of you to follow. To those of you who got 30 years, thank you so much for your dedication and your unbelievable service to Delhi Township. We do appreciate it. Trustee Davis. A very similar, as I, I look at the three standing there and I start adding up, I'm thinking there's 90 years of service standing right in front of us. And there were two yeses that were given, one of serving others, which is, to me is an incredible call of being of service to others. And when you see these people that are standing here that are running into buildings that most of us would be running out of, that is absolutely incredible. And the bravery of, of which you give every day, and I hope nobody ever takes it for granted. The second part of it is that you said yes to Delhi, and that is awesome, and we thank you. Also, I want to thank the families who have supported them through the years. I'm sure there are some nail-biting moments through their career, and I know a lot of time away from home. So thank you to the wives, mothers, children, fathers, brothers, whomever was there for you. Thank you very much for being there for them, and thank you to, the, to all of you for being there for us. <clears throat> now, here's the good news for you. You may leave if that's the only reason you came to this meeting and go and celebrate. So thank you, everybody, for being here. <clears throat> we'll give you some time to get out. <clears throat> thank you. Yeah. Great, <clears throat> Jesse. Michael. Congratulations, brother. Time flies, doesn't it? <laughs> Congratulations. <clears throat> Yeah, know, nobody stays young. in a job that long anymore. That's a good thing. <clears throat> That's who I thought it was. Thank you. Yes, the car. And he's supposed to keep him covered. <clears throat> and he's not been doing that. <clears throat> mm. Oh, I can do it now. I can do it now. <clears throat> Can you close the doors? Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> You're not going to the party? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Okay. I was remiss also under trusty correspondence um, should have given a great shout out to Delhi Veterans Association for a wonderful ceremony on Sunday. Despite the cold, it was a beautiful day, and 41 names were added to um, the monument or the mo out front. So it was a, a lovely ceremony. So again, thank you for the Delhi Veterans and everything you do for Delhi and for the veterans of Delhi. So we can go on to our public hearing at this time, if we could, please, Mr. Luby. <clears throat> Motion 2018-212, approve the opening of a public hearing. Motion, I move motion 2018-212. Second motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 All right. <clears throat> Do you have the oath? Okay, is Mr. Gleason here? <clears throat> Would you like to come up, sir? <clears throat> Do you have an oath? Okay. Good. Yep. Okay, Mr. Gleason, raise your right hand. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give is the whole truth, so help you God? I do. Okay, thank you. Presentation of the facts, please. Sure. Um, 
Thank you for uh, listening to this case tonight. Um, we actually received a complaint about the subject property on August 29th of 2018, alleging that the subject property contained excessive vegetation and debris. I just want to make note that this property, that this is the second complaint this year for excessive vegetation and debris on this property, and the eighth complaint for debris and seventh complaint for excessive vegetation on the property since 2012. Also since 2012, the township has declared the property a nuisance three times, once for debris, once for excessive vegetation, and once for a junk motor vehicle. Of the three declarations, the township has only abated the property one time, and that was in 2012 for the debris. The junk motor vehicle and excessive vegetation appealed um, was appealed to the Board of Trustees back in 2015, and they worked out a solution at that time. Um, for this current complaint, it was filed anonymously. We did do an inspection on the property on August 29th of 2018. I was also present that night or that day during the inspection, and we did observe excessive vegetation in all of the planting beds and debris on the rear deck. A written informal order was issued concerning excessive vegetation and debris on August 29th, that having a September 7th, 2018 deadline. A second inspection by the zoning inspector was um, done on September 10th, and at that time he observed the subject violation persist. Staff did photograph the property at that time. A follow-up inspection by the zoning inspector occurred on September 20th, and the violation persists. Staff prepared documentation for the Board of Trustees to declare the property a nuisance at that time. Inspections by the Community Development Director, which is myself, on September 26th, I did observe the violation continued, and it did persist. So resolution 2018-196 was adopted on September 26, 2018, by the Board of Trustees, finding excessive vegetation and debris on the subject property. A written formal order was issued concerning the excessive vegetation and debris was um, sent both certified and first class mail on October 5th of 2018. Formal order was sent by certified mail and has gone unclaimed. We still have not received the receipt for that, but the property owner did submit um, his appeal request within the window, so he did get the first class uh, mail, obviously. Um, the written uh, appeal of the resolution declaring the subject property a nuisance was submitted on October 11th of 2018. So the formal order was on hold pending outcome of this appeal. In addition, um, I have tried to contact the mm. property owner um, actually two times prior to today, and I did not get any return phone call. And I've also emailed Mr. Gleason as of today, prior to today, twice, once on October 15th and once on October 17th with no response. I did try to contact Mr. Gleason again this morning, two phone calls, the phone was busy, and I did send an email again with no response. So that's kind of a quick summary of the history of this case. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Gleason. Pre present your appeal <clears throat> yes well i i don't I disagree with the facts i am in non-compliance i would just like to state those earlier violations were years before i owned the home i did not live there uh, i know uh, officially this is anonymous but i have a pretty good idea who's complaining it's the same fellow next door he complains about another neighbor's cat that walks around. He just complains about everything neighbor, but that's neither here nor there. Um, he just keeps complaining. I am in non-compliance. The, re the only reason I appealed this was to be able to come before you and, and tell you on the, um, on the last letter of me, well, my phone has been broke yeah. and my emails, I'm not really good at looking at them. I do really did not try to ignore you. Uh, uh, but, this, there was the high grass and the weeds was A and B on this was uh, limbs on the back deck. And uh, may I ask, did the anonymous uh, caller complain about the limbs on the back deck or was that something you just noticed? The complaint was for debris and excessive edges. Okay, well, good. Because the fella next door, who I think is this anonymous complainer, he has literally put all these limbs on my deck over all these years out of his yard. And that's why I wanted to come. And I picked them up. They're picked up. You know, it's my yard. And I was in noncompliance. Everything he said, I'm sure it's, I'm, I'm guilty. But he, that's why I, all these years I didn't come back here. It's worked out with the, the other zoning fellow I'd met. I didn't know him. But the fellow that's doing the complaining, actually on part B with the limbs on the back deck, He's actually the one that's been putting them on my back deck ever since I've lived there for five years. 
Uh, and they just kept piling up to where he's actually complained about what he's done. And that's why I wanted to come here and tell you that. Now, I'll pick them up, but it's just, I don't know, you know, it just goes on and on. I don't know what to do about it. But he actually did it, and then he complains about it. Um, Lieutenant Braun, is there any recourse for, is this considered trespassing? Or, or what is his recourse if this person is putting something on his property? Is there a legal recourse? I mean, power is it be? It's it, it hard for me to give a, I guess, a judgment or an explanation of without seeing it and, and knowing both sides of the story, if that makes sense. I mean, I, I can certainly meet with Mr. Gleason and discuss it and check out and see what he's got going on. Um, I don't have a problem with doing that, but obviously sitting here, I don't, I haven't seen the pictures. I haven't seen, you know, without seeing anything or getting testimony from both sides, it's hard for me to, you know, give any kind of recommendation. Mr. Gleason who, Gleason, who actually owns the tree the limbs are coming from? Well, actually the debris on the deck is from my tree. It's, they're all from my tree, but also to prove my point, um, I'd rather not say because I know this is going to be on television tomorrow and this fellow may be watching. So I'd love to meet with, with him and show him some evidence, other evidence in my yard that when he sees it, I feel will prove what I'm saying, that they were put there by my neighbor. I feel that when I show him that, he, it will prove my point. But meanwhile, uh, I, am, I was guilty and uh, I had some problems. I was going to do some more uh, trimming of bushes, but I found out at the last minute my son-in-law, who has the pickup truck, told me he could not take the debris to where we used to take it because the fella sold the property, and I just found out the last minute, so we're going to have to take it to actually uh, Green Township, but they only do it on the weekend, so I am not finished yet. And uh, if, I could, if I could bag the board for just uh, till the next meeting, a two-week extension, uh, I would appreciate that. Uh, the, the, the debris is all picked up now, right now. It's all picked up off the back deck, which was Part B. And uh, Part A, I just had trouble with my lawnmower where I didn't get the yard mowed. And a few more weeds I want to get done. I, clear, I cleared my porch off, and I'm working towards it, and I, but I just... I, I didn't, that's why I wanted to come and just state the facts. I'm, it just seems so ridiculous when he's complaining about There's an what he did. <laughs> Does your garbage, do you have garbage pickup? Do they not take yard waste? No, I don't have, I don't have garbage uh, okay. pickup. Now, my neighbor offered I could uh, put, that, put that in their garbage, but I have to get some more garbage cans if I did that way. I'd rather just put it in the pickup truck and take it. Mm. Which, which neighbor township. offered that? <laughs> which, which neighbor? <laughs> the other neighbor or the, the neighbor? Sure. Yeah. Sorry. No. So, I mean, you have another neighbor that's willing to help you. It's not the one that you think is Oh, no, all, all the this. rest of the neighbors. I don't okay. Know, so I don't it's know. a different neighbor than that. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, all the rest are great. Yeah. And they have problems with this fella, too. Okay. Yeah. And anyway, but that's not, that's not my business. So my you're business. asking for a two-week extension at this time? That's all to finish everything that uh, zoning wants done, which I'll be glad to do. And I've always done it in the past. But the reason there's so many complaints, uh, it's, it's just one fella. He just keeps complaining. I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, saying I'm not guilty. But uh, nobody else has any problems. And he, he complains about other people, too, around there. The cat walking around and things like that, but whatever. But, uh, are we agreeable with two weeks? Is that acceptable to the board? Um, Greg? How are you on two weeks? Yeah, we just need to make sure that the debris is taken care of and also the excessive vegetation. So that includes your planting beds. And there's also a lot of honeysuckle, which is one of our noxious weeds listed in our nuisance regulations that are covering some of your cars. That needs, yes, to, be, that needs to be trimmed back too. That's what I wanted to do with my son-in-law in the pickup truck. And then he told me just the other day at the last minute, see if it was actually his... his, uh, his um, sister-in-law's husband owned the yacht club down there in uh, Sailor Park and he just sold it. That's where we used to take the debris too when I went through this about three years ago, which I gladly want to do because it's covering my cars. I want to get all that off my cars. It's not good for the automobiles. So I want to do this. So is this acceptable, Greg, the <clears throat> timing? Yeah, two weeks would be fine. Okay. 
And if you can work it out with Mr. DeLong, mm -hmm. and if you have some questions about your neighbor, please talk to Lieutenant Braun. And um, like you said, you can figure out what's going on there if there is an issue, but we would appreciate if you would. Yes, I would like <laughs> to get with him and yes. follow that up. Assistant Chief Braun. Assistant Chief Braun, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what 24 hours difference it is. Yeah. Sorry. That's <laughs> old habits. Yeah, sorry. Assistant Chief Brown. Okay. Do you have anything uh, else? Just go ahead, Mr. I have one thing, but I'll wait. Did you have anything else that you wanted to say, Mr. Gleason? Not okay. That I can Not that I can remember. Okay. Um, and I don't want to jump out of protocol here. If Trustee CV, if you wanted to say something first. Go ahead. Okay. Um, first of all, thanks for coming tonight and, 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 and just trying to make a difference. We appreciate that. But here also, I think the neighbors, when people say something, it's not because they're trying to get on you personally. It's like everyone in Delaware, they want their place to look nice. So the only thing I caution is just avoid the tit for tat. Well, they did this, so I'm going to – nobody needs it. Your neighbors don't need it. And, and I think there's a way that you can bring peace in a situation. I find it interesting that your neighbor would collect the garbage from your tree and put it on your porch saying, here, it's yours. Do something with it. I, you know, when I look at that, if in fact it was was your neighbor, I I, I find that very interesting. Yeah, it's two sided. It's it's like here, please do something with it. But um, that's the only thing I would say. Just you know, try to to focus on where you're united there on the street. You got great neighbors around you, and maybe this person too is a good neighbor. You just got to give it a chance. But uh, certainly, people coming onto your property is a whole other story. If you don't want people on your property, that's a you know something you should talk with with the assistant chief about. But um, we get it, but as I said, just go easy and we'll get Great it. Great advice. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mike is our peacemaker. Thank you, Mr. Gleason. Okay. Motion, Mr. Luby. <clears throat> motion 2018-213, approve the closing of the public hearing. I move motion 2018-213. I second a motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Motion passes. <clears throat> so we have agreed to two weeks extension? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank Watch you. the weather. Yes. Yeah. Okay, motion. I'm sorry, what? Yes. Go ahead. Oh, I think you need to make them, either you're affirming the appeal. Right, we're going to do the motion now. Okay. Okay. Just make sure. Jim, motion. Uh, motion 2018-214 to approve the appeal of Mr. Terrence E. Gleason and allow two weeks to clean up the debris and excessive vegetation regarding resolution 2000. I'm sorry. Affirming. You're going to, it's affirmed. Affirm. Upholding the zoning inspector's decision we're affirming if you're affirming because so, if you approve what he's requesting is to waive it all okay, so we're <laughs> affirming. you're okay to affirm the um zoning department's assessment regarding resolution 2018 196 i'm a motion 2018 214. i second that motion all those in favor Yes. yes. That motion passed, whatever we said. No, the affirmation. All right. Thank you, Mr. Gleason. Appreciate well, thank you for your time, board. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Administration, Mr. Luby. Resolution 2018 to 19, resolution adopting the Hamilton County Multi Hazard Mitigation Plan and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. Parks and Recreation? Okay, Mr. Torbeck. <clears throat> we have an update on... Thank you, Board. Uh, we have a couple projects going on. I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, out of Story Woods, we got a grant to do some paving around the playground and the restroom, and that's complete and looks uh, fantastic. It looks really good. So if you get a chance to go out there, check it out. Uh, another project we have going on is the Senior Center roof. People have probably seen that. That is about 50 percent. Well, it's probably 60 percent done now, but that was also done with a grant. So two projects that should be done <coughs> by the end of the week, beginning of next week, will be done with uh, grants. Uh, third project, the stage that we've been talking about, will be breaking ground the week after Thanksgiving. So that's exciting. That was also done with uh, uh, donations from the Bicentennial uh, Celebration, a lot of organizations involved, and then a grant from the state of Ohio to finish the funding for that. So three big projects. And then uh, sometime after Thanksgiving, they'll be starting on the lodge roof to replace that. So a lot going on wow. with the yeah. infrastructure and some 
Exciting news. So just wanted to give a quick update on things going on. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, and then (laughs) holiday market, uh, December 8th, Saturday, December 8th will be our second year for that. We just got some advertisement out for it. Uh, All the vendors have filled it already, so Mm -hmm. there's no more open spots. It's close to 40 vendors, so it should be great. It was great last year, so... December Thanks for all your work getting these grants and everything that you do. Because like, grants are not easy. So thank you very much. <clears throat> okay, fire department. <clears throat> resolution 2018-220, resolution authorizing the purchase of a 2019 Braun Ambulance from Penn Care Inc., directing the, the issuance of a purchase order for state purchasing program pricing, authorizing the township administrator to execute and accept the purchase agreement and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the option of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? Chief? Thank you, trustees. Uh, This ambulance is going to replace um, our oldest ambulance in the fleet. It's a 2007 and uh, in much need of tender loving care elsewhere. So this ambulance will probably take delivery if we execute the purchase agreement somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to eight months from now. Okay. Will the 2007 go into our museum? Uh, <laughs> not if I can get a dollar for it. <laughs> I move to dispense it, with the second reading of this resolution. Second you, the motion. I'm sorry, Chief, were you finished? I did want to comment. This this has been on the books uh, for about five years in planning. This is being paid for out of the EMS fund. So EMS reimbursements uh, with carryover has allowed us to basically save up over the last five years. Great to budgeting. This. Super. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. The resolution passes. New fire truck, here we come. Or, or ambulance? Ambulance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Resolution 2018-221, resolution authorizing additional fire protection and emergency medical services tax levy, certifying it to the county auditor and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? Mr. Lane. Yes, this this resolution simply provides formal notice to the auditor of the resolution or the uh, of the levy that was just passed because this levy it will be placed on the current the, the tax list for the current year. So we'll get the money right away. Not wait a year. Okay. After that, it'll just be part of our tax budget. Okay. So. Okay. Thank you. It's really, just technical <clears throat> compliance is all. Right. Chief Campbell, you want to say something? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 yeah. This this pretty much tops off this year. This has been a fantastic uh, boost to the fire department. Uh, essentially, we've been working over this for months. I'd like to thank the board for taking the time to kind of look over the numbers with me propose it, put it out to the people, because this is the most difficult thing we have to do is to ask for more money. But the citizens had said time and time again, if you need it, ask for it. So it's one of those rare instances where we put the ball in their court and they delivered. And basically from here for the next five years, hopefully more, the ball will be in our court and the heat's on for us to make sure that we budget properly and that we maintain our operation exactly the way we set out to do. So I can't thank the community enough for the support. Certainly um, we were very happy with the results. I don't even want to think of what it would have been like without it, but I can assure you that we will have a top-notch service continuing for the next five years at least. And we want to reiterate the passing of the levy we're not getting the new ambulance because of that. Just <laughs> no. want to make sure we reiterate that, no. that we didn't jump ahead of things, okay? As, as uh, Chief Campbell said, he's his save for that for five years. So please don't assume that. <clears throat> Thank you to all the residents who came out and supported the fire levy. And we got a chance to speak to a lot of them yes, on sir. Election Day. And um, I'm very pleased that the community is pleased with the service they're getting enough to approve this levy. And we really appreciate the support for our fire department. Trustee Davis. Uh, I concur. Absolutely. All right. 
I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mr. Stewart? Yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. The resolution passes. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, Public Works, we still have nothing. Police Department, I would like to have Assistant Chief Braun come up and talk about what happened last night. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Um, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you all for being there last night. For me personally, it was an honor um, for additional opportunities to better serve the community in, in my new capacity. Um, to start from the, the first ranks, we, we promoted two corporals last night. One was actually replaced in Corporal Frank Gentile. That it, it's been a, a staple around Delhi forever, and he will continue to be. Um, as you saw, he was there last night to, to, to yeah. you know celebrate with us as well. He, he's moved on, obviously, to his new career, but he's still a member of our family and will continue to be. So um, we truly miss Frank Gentile and <clears throat> will continue to be around. The second promotion was actually part of the succession planning. Uh, Chief Howarth, myself, and, and Lieutenant Joe Macaluso has been working for the past two years to look at things and how we could better serve our community um, as well as our staff. Um, with that, we, we elected uh, and we set up goals to, to obtain an assistant chief's position um, so we can directly identify somebody who's a second command when the chief is out of town or chief is, is not available. We think it's important for us to have somebody there, not just for yourselves, but for the, for the community to, to go to if the chief is not available. So with that, um, as part of succession planning, we wanna make sure that we have all our ducks in a row to make sure that we're training our people um, for when the chief, myself, Lieutenant Macaluso, obviously we're no longer here and retire, we want people to be able to fill our roles when we retire. So uh, with Administrator Jack Cameron, um, he helped us a lot and a great deal with as far as planning this out um, and, and may just come to fruition obviously with the blessing of, of all you folks. Um, I was promoted to Assistant Chief. Um, Bill Murphy was a sergeant, was promoted to um, Lieutenant, obviously we learned last night that he doesn't make a very good garbage man, um, so he needs to continue to be a police officer. Um, and then Sergeant Meyer, um, Jared Meyer, who was a third shift corporal, is, is actually took um, uh, Bill Murphy's place, who was a second shift supervisor. So Jared Meyer will now be the second shift supervisor um, for the young men and women on, the, on that shift. Um, Lieutenant M Murphy will also, in the meantime, until um, we find another additional officer to hire. Lieutenant Murphy will also act as a, as, as a community resource officer. So he will be taking the role of patrol lieutenant. Um, for the longest time, we, had, we used to have three lieutenants, but over the past almost five years, we've had two. Um, and we've all been sharing the responsibilities in that role of, of doing more with less. Um, and quite frankly, I'm looking forward to, to be able to focus on one job instead of doing two jobs. So. With that, I, I truly, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I'm truly appreciative of the opportunities that you guys are giving me. And for that, I say thank you. And I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. And our two corporals are, you didn't mention Brian Bauer. Brian Bauer and Joe Goddard, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just so everybody knows, they're now corporals. Yes. So and, very and, well earned. And Brian Bauer actually was in the DART uh, Drug Task Force. And over the last two years, he's learned a great deal. And it's not something he's going to forget. He's going to come back and he's going to teach our officers how to continue to do those things to combat that nasty behavior. So, All right. so with that, anybody <clears throat> congratulations yeah. to the police department on their succession planning and all those who filled those spots on the way up. Exactly. Congratulations and congratulations thank you for your service. Yeah, thank it was you. a lovely night. So thank you for the information. Thank you. <clears throat> all right, community development, please. Mr. DeLong's back up. <clears throat> resolution 2018 to 22 resolution certifying abatement expenses at 524 Mantola Drive to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution, Mr. DeLong? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I actually don't have anything to say for resolutions 222 through 229 if you just want to read right through them. These are basically the collecting the assessments for properties we've already abated this year. Okay. okay. Thank you. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. Second the motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading. 
Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-223, resolution certifying abatement expenses at 579 Stillwater Drive to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. Second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second a motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-224, resolution certifying abatement expenses at 1028 Ebenezer Road to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. Second a motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-225, resolution certifying abatement expenses at 4476 Dolly Pike to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-226, resolution certifying abatement expenses at 4954 Alverno Valley Court to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on this resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second a motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-227. Resolution certifying abatement expenses at 4954 Alverno Valley Court to the County Auditor for assessment and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-228, resolution certifying abatement expenses at 5174 Rapid Run Road to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. Second a motion to dispense with the second reading of the resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-229, resolution certifying abatement expenses at 5218 Riverwatch Drive to the county auditor for assessment and dispensing with a second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second a motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of dispensing with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. <clears throat> resolution 2018-230, resolution declaring nuisance for excessive vegetation at 519 Mantola Avenue and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce to move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution, Mr. DeLong? Yeah, it's kind of crazy. It's this late in the year and we're still doing excessive vegetation. But as you can see based on the photo, the cold weather has kind of flattened it down a little bit. But this is actually a repeat offender. We actually dealt with this property earlier in the year. This is actually a targeted property for our land bank, hopefully for next year. So, but um, it is vacant. And as of this morning, the yard was in the same condition as you see in the photo. So we do request you declare it a nuisance. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. 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 Mr. Libby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz. Yes. Mrs. Seavey. Yes. Mr. Davis. Yes. Resolution passes. Resolution 2018-231, resolution declaring nuisance for accumulated debris at 1032 Beach Meadow Lane and dispensing with the second reading. 
I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any discussion on the resolution, Mr. DeLong? Yeah, this is the third time we've dealt with this property this year for debris. Um, it is located at 1032 Beach Meadow Lane. Um, the property was in the condition, as you see in the photos, as of this morning, so we do request you declare it a nuisance. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Libby, please call the roll. Mr. Sturtz? Yes. Mr. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. <clears throat> resolution 2018-232, resolution declaring nuisance for excessive vegetation and accumulated debris at 316 Anders Court and dispensing with the second reading. I introduce and move the adoption of this resolution. I second the adoption of this resolution. Any discussion on the resolution, Mr. DeLong? Yeah, as you can see in the photo, there's excessive vegetation. Again, it's kind of flattened down with the cold weather and also a photo of debris. Those uh, conditions were still in the same state as you see on those photos as of this morning, so we do request you declare it a nuisance. I move to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. I second the motion to dispense with the second reading of this resolution. All those in favor of the motion to dispense with the second reading? Yes. yes. Mr. L Mr. Luby, please call the roll. Mrs. Sturtz? <laughs> yes. Mrs. Seavey? Yes. Mr. Davis? Yes. Resolution passes. All right. Thank you, Mr. DeLong. Um, we have nobody that's no citizens that have signed in for comments. So we'll go right to announcement of community events. Mr. Luby. Oh. The High Business Association Christmas Parade will be Saturday, December 1st. It'll be at 9.30 a.m. It'll be on Delhi Pike from Greenwell to the Del Fair Shopping Center. The Delhi Branch Library Holiday Open House will be Saturday, December 1st at 10 a.m. It's at the Delhi Branch Library at 5095 Foley Road. The High Township Holiday Market, hosted by Delhi Parks and Recreation, is Saturday, December 8th. Runs from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. It will be at the Delhi Senior Community Center at 647 Neeb Road. All right, thank you. <clears throat> we can there be no further business to be brought before this board. I move we adjourn. I second the motion. All those in favor? Yes. 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 Next meeting is Wednesday, November 28th at 6 o'clock. Everybody, please have a safe and happy Thanksgiving.